Hello and welcome to Jani.tv. In today's tutorial, I have something exciting, the Qualcomm Cloud AI Playground. Most of us are familiar with Snapdragon Elite or Elite X processor that powers the mobile devices and also the Copilot Plus PC. But do you know that Qualcomm has an AI accelerator in the form of Cloud AI 100, a revolutionary accelerator that's reshaping how we perform inferencing. The Qualcomm AI processor is a purpose-built AI accelerator for speed, efficiency, and performance. It isn't just another hardware component. The Cloud AI 100 is a specialized AI inference accelerator designed to tackle the most demanding computational challenges uh, that come with inferencing of LLMs. With 64 AI cores per PCIe card and the ability to process up to 870 trillion operations per second or tops, this device is certainly a game changer for machine learning applications. But powerful hardware is only half the story. Qualcomm has partnered with cloud providers such as Cirascale, uh, a cloud platform that democratizes access to incredible Gen AI technology. Through their AI Innovation Cloud, developers, researchers, and enterprises can now leverage the Qualcomm Cloud AI 100 without any upfront investment in the infrastructure. So the Qualcomm Cloud Playground is where innovation meets exploration. The playground that's available on Syrah Cloud isn't just a testing ground. It's a canvas for exploring your AI creativity uh, using the image generation models large language models, and some of the other foundation models. In today's demo, I have two different sections. The first one is a walkthrough of the Qualcomm Cloud Playground, where I will walk you through what are the models available and how you explore the foundation models that are running on top of the powerful Cloud AI 100 card. And then we'll also explore the SDK, uh, the most familiar open AI SDK, the Python SDK, to access these models programmatically. So I'm going to fire up a Jupyter Notebook and walk you through steps involved in developing a RAG solution that talks to the Qualcomm Cloud Playground APIs. So let's dive in. All right, let's take a look at the Cloud AI Playground. So it all starts with the cloudai.cirascale.com. Once you sign in, uh, with your credentials. I am currently signed in with my Gmail account. You gain access to the playground. So on the navigation bar, you see chat, images, SDK docs, API docs, and even some sample apps that you can explore. So the chat section of the playground is obviously targeting the LLMs. And at this point, there are two LLMs, the popular Llama 3.170 billion and the Llama 3.18 billion parameter models. There are some predefined prompts that you can play with. You can also control the hyperparameters such as the reputation penalty, the temperature, top P, top K, max new tokens, and so on. So when you actually explore this, you can set these parameters and start uh, using the LLMs. So currently we are generating the periodic table of elements using a table, and that's leveraging the Llama 3.18 billion parameter. So this is about the chat playground. Similarly, there is an image section and obviously the images section talks to Stability AI SDXL Turbo. So this is one of the most powerful and popular models for image generation. So you can again uh, use the characteristics to avoid. So this is the negation uh, which will avoid uh, in the images that are generated. You can even uh, define how many number of images you want to generate, define the resolution, and uh, some parameters again for controlling the generation. And you can basically select one of the pre-existing, predefined uh, uh, temp uh, prompts and generate. So this is pretty realistic, a beautiful castle with a moat photorealistic. So let's see how this comes out. So this is again, pretty cool. So this is the image generation playground and SDK docs takes you to the documentation section where you can learn about installing the 
Python modules, integration with Langchain, and some of the tutorials that deal with uh, tool calling, RAG, developing agents with Crew AI, and so on. Now, coming back to the playground, uh, you also have the uh, model section where you can basically look at the available models. So at this point, there are LLMs based on Llama 3.1. Then there is Stable Diffusion, SDXL Turbo. And for embeddings, there is the Beijing Academy of AI's BG Large ENV 1.5. Again, this is one of the most preferred model for generating embeddings. And of course, you can even use an API key and this is the API endpoint. Now, the best thing is just using these two, the API endpoint URI and the API key, you can basically turn any open AI code to talk to this endpoint, to talk to the Qualcomm Cloud Playground uh, programmatically. So that is the playground where you can type some prompts and play with hyperparameters and see the generation. So in the next section of this demo, we will consume the API and access these models programmatically. We'll build a RAG solution. Stay tuned. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use OpenAI and ChromaDB libraries to point to the Qualcomm Cloud Playground endpoint and generate vectors from text and then use that to perform RAG. So we're going to build a fictitious chatbot within the Jupyter Notebook that answers some queries related to Emirates baggage policy. So to keep this simple, I'm going to use a list, a Python list that has some facts about the baggage policy of Emirates, but we can very quickly replace this with a real web scraping tool like Beautiful Soap or uh, any of the other libraries. So let's get started with the Jupyter Notebook and the steps involved in building the RAG solution that talks to the Qualcomm Cloud Playground. All right, so here I am uh, with a complete blank slate. So we have a Jupyter Notebook running. And let me start with the actual libraries that we need to install. So pip install OpenAI and ChromaDB. This requirement is already met, so we can bypass this. And then I'm going to import the actual libraries that we need. So uh, we are actually using a .env file to store the API key. And where do I get the API key from? Well, it's right here. So when you go to the Cloud Playground, you can grab this and put that in the .env file. And this is, of course, our URI, which is the endpoint for us to talk to the uh, models and uh, the other embedding models. So let's now load the API key. So in, once we import the modules, the next step is loading the API key. And then I'm going to initialize the clients. So in this step, we are initializing the open AI client. The API key is coming from the environment variable. And the base URL is pointing to the cloudai.sirascale.com slash API slash v2. So this is the endpoint that emulates the open AI compatible API. We're also creating a Chroma client, which is basically the vector database. And we are persisting this to the local directory, which is Chroma DB. And then I'm going to call the collection name of the vector database as baggage policy. So once we initialize this, we also need to define an embedding function. Now, if you are familiar with Chroma DB, you know this is very important. So this is basically how uh, we encode the actual text into vectors. So we pass the text through an embeddings model and generate vectors. So here, since we are using an open AI compatible endpoint, we are simply using the same API key and we are using the BG large ENV 1.5, which is basically the uh, same model that I have shown you earlier. So this is the embeddings model supported on the Qualcomm Cloud Playground. So I set the endpoint and define the embedding function. So once we have the embedding function defined, we're going to create a function called index. Now this is where 
uh, the actual heavy lifting takes place. So this function called index takes a list of strings. So I have a list called baggage rules and this contains some facts from Emirates. So it basically talks about the carry-on luggage policy for economy, for business class, what is the allowed uh, check-in baggage size and the uh, weight. Uh, so a lot of details about the baggage policy or the baggage rules from Emirates. These are a, a set of facts. Of course, you can uh, use any library to scrape the website and generate this or you can have a PDF and chunk it and pass it through the embeddings model. But to keep this simple, I am populating a list uh, with the strings. So once I do that, I create a collection. So the collection name is baggage, uh, baggage policy, which we defined here. And, and then the embedding function is the embedding function that we defined here. And we are using the um, uh, algorithm to perform the semantic search based on cosine. So this is the algorithm that is used to retrieve the data or uh, even when, when storing the data. So once we define the collection, we go ahead and populate. So when we are populating, we are taking the index and we are taking uh, the, the string that is stored in this list. Now, every time we call collection.add, because the embedding function is already registered with the collection, it automatically encodes every string and stores that in the vector database. And finally, this function returns the populated collection. So when you call this function and look at collection, it basically has those many number of uh, lists based on the number of strings that we have. So once the indexing is done, then we define another function called retrieve. So retrieve is basically the runtime uh, function where we pass the query sent by the user and perform a semantic search. So based on this cosine uh, uh, ANN or the approximate uh, nearest neighbor algorithm, we are actually trying to find the documents that are semantically matching the query. So we uh, get up to three results and we concatenate all those three and return the concatenated string. So this becomes the context for the LLM. So that is the function which is called retrieve. And finally, we need to have a function that is responsible for generation. So generation is where the actual magic takes place. So here, we first invoke retrieve method we defined here and we send the same query that the user has sent. And this is going to come back with those many number of strings concatenated based on the search. For example, if you send uh, a question, a query like the baggage policy for economy class, it will match with all the strings or all the uh, phrases that have something to do with economy class. And that becomes the context. Now we define the system prompt. So the system prompt says you are a helpful airline assistant, answer the user query based on the context provided. If you don't find the answer within the context, say, I don't know, give accurate and precise answers. Now, this is a very important instruction to avoid hallucinations. Now, if you ask a question that is outside of the context, the LLM comes back and says, I don't know. So this is a mechanism to apply a very basic guardrail to confine the LLM's response within the context. And then we create a user prompt and the user prompt is a combination of query and the context. And because we already said search within the context and respond, we are passing the context and this is an F string. So finally, we call the OpenAI client chat completions API and we call the Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model. Now this model is what is available here. So this is exactly the string that you need to put here. So that is the model. You can of course change that to uh, any other model that's available on Qualcomm Cloud Playground. And then we construct the messages list, the system role, the user role, and finally we return the response. So that is about the generate function. We are almost done. Uh, so we kick off the entire thing by creating the index. 
So indexing is again ingesting the strings as vectors into the vector database. So that is done. And now we basically simulate a chatbot. So what is the size limit for the cabin baggage in economy class? So that is the query. The answer is generate query. So we invoke generate with the same query and we print these two. So let's go ahead and run them. So now it comes back uh, with the answer. The size limit for cabin baggage in economy class is 55 into 38 into 20 centimeter. Now if you go back, that's exactly what is mentioned in one of these strings. So you can actually find that uh, in, the, in the list. So here it is. So this is the dimensions that is available uh, within the context. So this is how you can respond with factual correct answers because we are limiting the LLM to the scope of the context. Let's test one more query. So this time the query is what is the weight of check baggage for economy flex class. So when we invoke this, it again comes back with an answer. So for economy flex, the weight of check baggage is up to 35 kgs. Now we can go back and look at this. So for economy flex, there we go, offers up to 35 kgs. So it's pretty clear that the responses are confined to the context. So as you can see, this is a pretty straightforward mechanism to consume Llama 7 billion parameter model, sorry, the 8 billion parameter model. And uh, it's been pretty straightforward. Uh, you don't even realize that you're actually talking to the Cirascale cloud endpoint because we are using the most popular and the familiar Python SDK of OpenAI and just changing the base URL and the API key. Everything else remains the same. So this is a very simple RAG application that is powered by the cloud playground of Qualcomm, which is in turn powered by the Cloud AI 100 AI Accelerator. So that brings us to the end of this demo. I hope you found this useful. Go ahead and sign up for the Qualcomm Cloud Playground. I'm going to leave the links in the description. This notebook is also available on GitHub as a gist. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.